ADCs have a unique targeting ability of antibodies as well as cell-killing ability of cytotoxic drugs. When you compare ADCs with the traditional chemotherapeutic agents, ADCs actually target the cancer cells and not really affect the other cells in the body significantly. ADCs really have picked up speed in the recent times. Uh, we had really exciting 2019 with three drugs being approved uh, and two of them towards the end of the year. There are so many positive results out of uh, available ADCs that have been approved so far. And uh, there are lots of ADCs that are in late stage that have shown positive results for a lot of unmet needs. Everyone that's working in the ADC field is really excited because we are able to help patients that, that have not had the opportunity to get treatment so far. Yeah, I think the future is very bright in the world of ADCs. So we look back to 2019 where we saw the additional commercial approvals and it's looking like 2020 is gonna be a good year for that too. Also, when we look at all the combination therapies and all the clinical trials that are going on for combination therapies, it's obvious that we're learning more and more about how ADCs can impact the field of oncology. We're seeing lots of improvements in all three of the major components of an ADC. So whether it's the targeting protein being much more specific, the drugs of being more sophisticated and targeted toward the field, or even the unsung hero of the linker technology, being able to modify the PKPD profile of each individual construct is really important. In addition, when we start to think about what's going on in other fields other than ADCs, so I like to think of ADCs as the bioconjugation field, not just in oncology, we see additional indications in cardiovascular and ophthalmology. So anytime we really want to deliver a bioagent intracellularly specifically to certain cells, bioconjugation will be uh, impactful. And we'll take everything that we learned in the field of ADCs and directly apply it to everything to do with bioconjugation. And finally, we're gonna see maturation of the industry. So the ability to template as well as standardize all the unit operations will work in much the same way that it did in the MAB field, where we'll be able to reduce cost of goods and we'll be able to be much more effective and efficient in the way we produce materials.